Our daily Bible reading for April 24th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 17. And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused. But afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice, so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Now they were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Jesus called them to him, saying, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. Here's a term that I hear from time to time when children make extraordinary statements. Out of the mouth of babes. It is a term borrowed from the scripture when Jesus quotes an Old Testament psalm. Yea, have ye never read, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise? We find this as Matthew 21, 16. In a sense, what is referenced here is the fact that even young children can give praise equal to that of aged and wise. We often find Jesus amazed by acts of faith that may have slipped by others as insignificant. The widow who threw in two copper coins in the treasury astounded the Savior. The centurion who recognized that Jesus need not come to his house, but only say the word and the servant would be cured. The Syrophoenician woman who reasoned well with Jesus to have the demon removed from her daughter. Jesus seeks for faith such as that displayed by these individuals. He would use the analogy of having the faith of a mustard seed to achieve great deeds. He said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith, for truly I say to you, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible to you. Matthew 17.10 We are not alone in our lack of faith. Many, even in Jesus' day, were without faith, even though the Savior was right there performing miracles. The question Jesus asked is a rather pointed one. Will He find faith on the earth? In order to fully answer that question, it is important to know what it is he is looking for. This statement is made following the parable of the unrighteous judge in verse 6 of Luke 18. In the parable, we are told, Even though I do not fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will give her legal protection, lest by continually coming she wear me out. Verses 4 and 5. Jesus commends the woman for her persistence in crying day and night for justice. In this example, we may gain insight into what God is seeking from us. He desires those who will not lose heart. He seeks those who will not become encumbered again in the world, but remain faithful. We find in Revelation 2 and 10, Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into prison, so that you will be tested. You will have tribulation for ten days, but be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. Question of the day. Are you satisfied with your faith?
and a thought to meditate on this day. At one point, the disciples made the request of Jesus, increase our faith, in Luke 17, 5. When was the last time you asked God for this? And those are our thoughts for April 24th.